The coral snake, which is found throughout the entire state of Florida, belonging to the family group of the elapids, is the only elapid found in North America. And its distribution is throughout the state of Florida. Coral snakes have a very unique defensive system. The defensive system that these snakes use is bright coloration. Coral snakes have very bright red, yellow, and black banding running through their body. The arrangement of these bandings distinguishes the snake from non-venomous snakes which are also found here. Other snakes which mimic the coral snake do it for their own defensive purposes so that when other animals see them they actually think they're a coral snake and leave them alone. Here we have a milk snake. The coloration is similar to that of the coral snake. The arrangements are different in the banding. On the milk snake, the banding, which is red, is surrounded by black. On the coral snake, the banding, which is red, is surrounded by yellow. The banding arrangement of the coral snake in the picture below is slightly different than the milk snake. Looking at the red banding in the center of the snake's body, it is surrounded by yellow. Looking at the picture in the above, which is the milk snake, looking at the red banding, it is surrounded by black. The habitat of the coral snake is subterranean. These snakes like to live underneath things normally found underneath the ground. Encounters with coral snakes are very far and few. If somebody does encounter a coral snake, they may want to pick it up because of its beauty. Things that look beautiful are normally very dangerous. Not knowing the difference between a non-dangerous animal and a dangerous animal, actually snakes should be left alone. Coral snakes don't bite very many people here in Florida. We've only had two fatalities from coral snakes probably in the last 20 to 25 years. So coral snakes aren't very dangerous if left alone. Anything that's beautiful should be left alone and only admired, not touched or handled. Most coral snakes are very timid and shy. But as you can see while I'm handling this coral snake, once they're picked up, they do become somewhat aggressive. When handling these snakes, they may try to defend themselves. Coral snakes will actually open them their mouth and try to chew into any object that's around the area of the mouth itself. Coral snakes in relationship to their cousins, which are the cobras and the crates, these animals have a fixed fang. That means their fang is always pointing in a downward position, not folding back into the roof of the mouth. Coral snakes carry a neurotoxic venom.
neurotoxic venom attacking the central nervous system, causing paralysis, respiratory, and cardiac arrest. If this type of venom is injected into the bloodstream or directly into a vein, it can possibly kill in less than three minutes.